Welcome back. Let's carry on. Um, the table shows the results of the games played by 12 teams. <clears throat> Excuse me. Answer the questions that follow. Let's see what this is all about. Question A. How many teams do we have on the Premiership League? So if I'm looking at this, reading the columns, the first thing we have, of course, is your clubs. All right, there we go. NP, matches played. W, wins. D, draws. L, losses. GF stands for goals for. GA, goals against. All right, and then we have our points. So, looking at that now, how many teams do we have on the Premiership League? I count down from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 teams in total. There we are. How many points does the last team on the league have? So if I look at this, the table is arranged from winners first right down to the last team 12 so the last points right here Hertha oh excuse me I don't know what I pressed there okay Hertha right here at the bottom All right how many points do I leave, do they have so looking across at the first column they go across there we go points at the end Right there, 39. Aha. They have 39 points. Lovely. How many games did the first team on the league play? All right, the first team on the league. Let's just get rid of some of this other stuff. Okay. The first team on the league, right at the top, these guys. How many games did they play? So, we're looking for matches played. The very first column right here, they've played 34 games. All right, we've successfully answered those. Let us carry on. Calculate the mean for the number of games played. All right, the number of games played. <coughs> Excuse me. The mean is the sum of all the values divided by the amount of values that we have. So looking at that, we're going to have to add up all the values for um, games played. So matches played would basically be all, let's see if I can get that, there we go, all of those values up there. All right, that's what I need to add up. And if I total all of them, I get to 408 divided by the amount of them there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve of them so divide this by twelve and my answer is 34 so that's the mean amount of games played let's carry on uh, that one Determine the median of the goal against data set, the one for GA. All right, and we're looking for the median. So, the goals against are all these values. Let's just get them highlighted for you guys. All right, up there and back up there. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. In order to find the median, we first need to arrange all the values in ascending order. So, for that lot, We'll start with 39. Then we have another 39. And then another 39. Then I have 42. Then I have 48. Okay, let's keep going. 49. All right, what's next? 54. Okay, 59, 60, and lastly, 61. 
All right, all the values arranged in ascending order check. Then, scratching part, scratch from outside inwards. So, the 39 and the 61. The 39 and the 60. That 39, that 59. The 42, the 54. I'm left with just two numbers again. So my median here is the 48 plus the 49 divided by 2. <coughs> All right, and there we go. We found the median. Let's carry on. Um, that is okay. Write down the score mode. Oh, sorry. Write down the write down the mode for the point scored. Okay, point scored right here, last column. Let's get that guy going, and there we go. That's the column I'm looking at. What I need to do there, sorry, is find the mode, which is the number that appears the most. Looking at this, all the way down, I find that 39 appears the most. So my mode is 39. Oh, mode. Yeah, let's write the word down. The mode is 39. Now, write down the range, number of points. Okay, let's just get rid of this one. Okay, number of points. Um, ah, it is the same column. All right. So if I look at that, I need to write down the range number of points. The first thing we need is to arrange the values in ascending order. So looking at this, um, we have the following values. 39, 39, 42, 44, okay, 49, 50, 55, 56, 64, what else, 65, 68, lastly, 74. So I've arranged all the values, <coughs> excuse me, in ascending order. Then, to find the range, I take the last value, 74, and I minus the first value, which looks like 39, and the range comes out at 35. Oh, excuse me, everyone. Seems my pen is not behaving. Here we go. Let's take a short break. I think we've been worked on long. And when we get back, we'll wrap things up. Thank you very much. Looking forward to chatting with you guys soon.